Hello, I'm Peggy O'Neill. Welcome to today's Facebook Live, How to Enhance Your Creativity. And I'm the founder of this Facebook group, Answering the Call. And we answer the call, that longing, that sense that isn't there something more to life, more to my life that I'm here to express or give or contribute. And so we first answer that call by knowing who we truly are, because the answers are all here. And then as we know who we truly are, then the second piece of that is, yeah, and then what is that unique expression that I'm here to express? And so it's, it's discovering that and then expressing that fully. And so today's topic is perp right on point for that, right? How to enhance your creativity. And what you're going to discover is that you are a creator. The possibility of relating to creation as an offering, a, dev a devotional act, Creativity is a way of being and living and steps you can take to realize these discoveries. And if you're here live, please say hi. I like, oh, hello, Sharon. I'm so glad you're here. And if you have any questions or comments anytime, please put them in there. And if you're watching this on replay, please put in there hashtag replay. And again, ask any questions, make any comments, and I will respond. So let's begin. So you are a creator. You create every time you bring anything into existence that wasn't there before. So a conversation. The next conversation you have with somebody, you've never had that conversation before. You're creating that conversation in that moment. Let's say you've got a situation in front of you. A lot of people call them problems, but there's something going on and you are looking to how to resolve that, what to do about it. Whatever you come up with, that's creativity. Every time you write an email to a friend or a colleague, write a letter to somebody, that's creativity. Rearrange the furniture in your room, creativity. <clears throat> we also create our own experience of the world. So when we, like right now, you're experiencing this, um, this uh, session, either with me live or if you're watching this at some other time or listening at some other time, right? you're experiencing something, whether you realize it or not, and that's creativity. You're bringing that experience into you and into life as you experience it. And when we interact with the world that's actually a creative time a creative opportunity because we're interacting with the world as we perceive that it is and interpret it that it is that's creativity next the possibility of relating to creation as an offering a devotional act so what i mean by that is <clears throat> that how do we engage with creativity as what it really is, which is that, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, uh, creativity, sorry, I have to put this on, uh, well, I'll, 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 I'll somehow, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so the possibility of relating to creation as an offering, a devotional act, is that, back to what I said at the beginning, which is that we, uh, uh, well, maybe I didn't say this today, but we're all one being, we're consciousness, we're, we're expressions of source. So, so just that alone, knowing, yeah, I am an expression of the universe, the infinite universe source. God's infinite being is the religious name. So how could it be anything else other than a, an offering, a devotional act? You're, you're offering up to the universe, to other people, to yourself, this unique expression that you are. You're honoring creation. You're honoring aliveness, your aliveness, the being alive, the being that you are, the mystery of life. As you allow this creativity to come through you, it's a mystery. What's going to come out of your mouth? Even, I mean, I'm sure you've done this. You either plan speeches or plan certain things. You maybe even have practiced that a lot. And then in the moment, you don't know for sure what's going to come out of your mouth. And you really don't know for sure how it's going to come out. So it's always an act of creation. 
And so, and the essence, I'm going to turn this, talk a little bit about art, but the essence of art, which is really any creative endeavor, it's making it for no reason other than expressing our or your form of the beautiful. It's how you're expressing beauty, how you're bringing it into form in some ways, even if it's a conversation, that's a form, it's a conversation, and bringing all of ourselves to that creation. We're shaping something that's our true expression. You're expressing the consciousness that you are. So it's an offering to the universe, to us, to everyone, to yourself, to everything. You're offering yourself. That's what makes your offering, your creativity, devotional or sacred. And by sacred, I mean honoring creation, honoring life, honoring yourself. Okay, next we're going to discover creativity as a way of being and living. Well, you're probably already getting that. I mean, there's no way out. We're creative beings, so we're, 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 we're living that. We may not realize it, so what I'm really going to uh, do here then is be able to, to pull it out from the background so that you can see it and live it in this knowing sort of way. So often the aspects of ourselves that are the truest, the most honest about ourselves, the things that we can't get to rationally, the non-rational aspects of ourselves, if you will, are often hidden, not just from other people, but from us. And we access them through creating art of some sort, or writing, or music, some um, just moving our bodies, moving our hands. And so we can explore that creativity, that expression to find what's hidden within as we express that way. If we, as we more and more and more freely let ourselves express, then we start discovering and experiencing what's hidden. And it may not make sense. Something might come out of our mouths or we might, like uh, I write articles all the time or little pieces all the time. And sometimes I, Go ahead and write them and send them, even though it doesn't make total sense at the time. So I'm trusting that aspect. Sometimes we get drawn in, like uh, often when I walk, I'll see a little bug or a flower or something that just catches my eye and I stop and I look at that insect, look at, look at that flower. And so that's so bringing curiosity. That's, so that's a, that's a way of living in creativity because I'm curious, I'm, I'm, um, I'm investigating, I'm getting drawn in. All of that is part of creativity and creative expression. <clears throat> also, some aspects of ourselves don't like to be approached head on. I find this a lot in working with my emotions and as I work with others to to welcome and to, to be with emotions that, um, that, that, I mean, years ago, I used to actually hit emotions head on, head on. You know, what's causing this? Where is this coming from? Why is this happening? That's hitting them, hitting them head on. And I might have some insights, but, and I did, <clears throat> but they were more, that felt more rational, more um, like I could have figured that out kind of thing. But, but when we work with emotions as creativity, things, we don't have to hit things head on when we're allowing ourselves to be creative or even being with emotions. Then what wants to be revealed will be revealed at the perfect time. Whatever it is we ought to know, it's useful for us to know, the universe knows. Our being knows, even if we don't know. So, um, so that, and they want to come to us indirectly. The insights want to come indirectly. So I've had, you know, when I hit it head on, I've had some insights that didn't make much of a difference. But when I allow the insights that came that were very similar, started transforming my experience. And it's this that we're talking about. It's that um, I wasn't hitting them head on. I was allowing them to reveal in their own time. And it made a huge difference in my life and my experience of some of these emotions and events in my life. And then we can also have sudden glimpses of things in, in unusual moments. All of a sudden we might be reading a book and a phrase catches our, our, our eyes or in the forest walking or watching TV. Some, some 
sound or a voice or a statement gets made, gets our attention. Those are all uh, ways that creativity is getting to us, trying to get our attention, trying to sing to us, if you will, invite us into creativity. So it's really paying attention to all of that. And then if we allow creativity to fully express, then we might really know and express the sincerity of who we are that we long for. And it might not be at all what you or I expected. So what are some steps that you can take? We've already heard some probably sprinkled throughout, but to relax into awareness, what is it that's aware of what's happening? And relax into that, experience that as often as you can. Sit there for five minutes at a time, 10 minutes, or just in a moment. If you, if you think of it throughout the day, just, oh, I'm gonna relax into the awareness that I am. So the more you know yourself, the more you're experiencing that in the foreground of life instead of the background, the more and more you're surrendered to that, surrendered to who you truly are, that opens and opens and opens and expands the possibility of creativity and what can come to us, what we can hear, what we can access, because we're being now in the world in relationship to the creativity that we are, which is surrender, openness, availability. <clears throat> so sink into the awareness that you are. Start writing without knowing what will come. Um, Julia Cameron wrote about a, a particular process of doing this in uh, uh, the artist's way, I think that's what it was called. And, and you know, three uh, free form writing, three pages first thing in the morning. So you can do that or you can just do it anytime. You just start writing. It doesn't have to be three full pages either. Just write and see what comes out. And sometimes, of course, at first what comes out is our rational mind, you know, trying to get some words out there and or say something and then, but you keep writing and without trying to come up with anything, just see what happens, see what comes to you and what comes out of you. Dance without knowing, without music. You know, just dance, just get up and dance. See where your body wants to go. See where your hands want to go, your head wants to go. Like right now, I haven't thought this through. I'm just doing this. Allowing creativity just express through me. Um, another thing you can do is when you walk in the woods or your neighborhood, wherever you are, if you're taking a walk or if you don't usually take a walk, take a walk. Go out there for a while and walk as if you had never seen any of it before. Even if you've seen it a thousand times or 10,000 times, walk as if you've never seen it before. Just like a child would if the child was there for the first time walking in your neighborhood, just setting aside all kinds of beliefs and concepts like that's a tree, that's a house, just set all that aside. It'll come to you, but when you notice it, you just relax the focus of attention and then be there with the wonder and the awe of looking at this neighborhood or the woods or the lake or wherever you are as if you've never seen it before. That's another way to open up creativity. You can do the same thing that I just suggested with the outdoors with your family. Be with them. Next time you're with one of them or talk to them, remind yourself, I'm going to be with this person as if I've never seen them before. And then listen, listen, listen. Just that's one of the things I'd mentioned earlier uh, in a different way, of course, but just really stay awake and open and alert to, to things that catch your attention, no matter where they come from. You could keep a journal or, um, yeah, or, or capture it on your computer or something like that. Keep, keep, you know, pay, be paying attention. And then that just, that, um, that enhances that ability to pay attention. You're in the moment, you're noticing. And you'll notice more and more and more because you've made that a way of being, a way of living life, the creative life. And again, relax the focus of attention whenever you notice you're caught up in thoughts, emotions, activities, you know, they've really got your attention. I mean, unless you need to do it. I mean, if you're, you know, you're filling out a form and you need to do that, that's fine. I'm not talking about that. But if you notice that you're just getting distracted caught up in Facebook or LinkedIn or something and you're just realizing, oh, I'm really getting caught up in this. Relax the focus of attention. Keep bringing yourself back to yourself. Be curious in every conversation and activity. Be there with curiosity, not I already know this or I already know what they're going to say or preparing what you're going to say next. 
just be there with curiosity again like a child just be there like just open open you might remind yourself oh i wonder what they're going to say next i wonder where this conversation is going to go get some finger paints go buy some finger paints get a big piece of uh paper of some sort butcher paper butcher paper works put that on the floor put it on a table get your hands all messy play with finger just play another thing you can do is say ohm you know ohm or pick any sound that you like and then let your voice take it or i don't know what it'd be your voice your yeah i mean just let let the voice there we go let the voice go where it wants to go just start with um don't think about it just let it take you away so i'll review some of these steps again so relax into your awareness into the awareness that you are sink into the awareness that you are no, those those two really go together start writing without knowing what's going to come just write for a while dance without music or with music and then just go let yourself go see just let it happen let consciousness express through you get used to consciousness expressing through you and knowing that's what's always happening it's always happening but in those moments we're more paying more attention to it when you walk next time you take a walk or go walk now go take a walk and go out there and look at the world as if you've never seen any of it before just like a baby would if it was the first time they'd been in that neighborhood um and with the wonder and the awe of it and then try the same thing with family members just never seen them before listen 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 just have that antenna going all the time again relax the focus of attention be curious in every conversation every activity get some finger paints play get some get some paint brushes and watercolors and play and then say um or some other sound and then allow the voice to take you where it wants to take you. All right, so I'll see if I have any questions or comments. Any thoughts about this or comments? Because who we truly are is, is, is a creative being. We've been so conditioned with years of school, sitting in your chair, stay still, listen to me, read this book, do it this way, gotta pass this test. It's diminished and diminished and diminished. For many of us, our access to our creativity and the knowing of the creative beings that we are. And that's, who, that's what we are. Everybody is a creator in every moment of life. Sharon, so are those aha moments the creative nudges? Yes, so aha moments too are or can be, depending on what the aha is about, can be nudges to go fall through with this or to notice that or let that influence your life. Across the board, whether it leads to some art form or an open honest discussion with a friend yeah oh i love this sharon yes so the creative i, I should have read the whole thing before i started commenting yeah the creative nudges um yeah whether it leads to some sort of art form or an open honest discussion with a friend i think uh, we need we tend to see creativity as related only to artistic expression visual art poetry etc but it says see more but a simple act of creativity is getting dressed every day yeah yeah how you comb your hair how you put on your makeup or no makeup or you know how you you put on your clothes creativity isn't a narrow channel it's wide open oh you said that beautifully Sharon thank you thank you thank you yes yes trust the nudges know yourself and by know yourself I mean through creativity that's more and more how we'll know ourselves is is through what wants to come through us what are we allowing not sorry i'm saying this we what well, it will be shown as we allow what wants to come through us to come out as we allow what wants to be expressed to come through us we won't know that ahead of time so it sounded like maybe i was going to say you know what wants to be expressed and then listen and then do it i mean that's okay too but i'm really talking about it in a different way right this minute which is not even ask the question just say to yourself i'm gonna be creative right now and then just start moving writing dancing or noticing a nudge as sharon suggested or go write poetry just play with the water in the sink <laughs> you know, just where does life take you all right thank you for being here today and uh and i'm excited if you take this on the creativity 
the new kind of creativity that can come through. I see it. What I really, what I believe and I'm really excited about what we do here and, and for those of us that keep exploring and, and keep um, returning to who we truly are and knowing who we truly are is that consciousness <laughs> has so much more imagination than, than we do. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it is imagination. I'll put it that way. It is imagination. If we can open, relax, stop identifying with this limited, finite being that so many people also think is not creative, quit identifying with all that, no telling what consciousness can express through us, what sort of new inventions, new ideas, new possibilities that we can't even imagine as we open and be and live the creative being that we truly are. Uh, Sharon, thank you, Peggy, for reminding us that we are all portals for consciousness to create. You're welcome, Sharon, and thank you for the reminding us, too, that we're portals for consciousness to create. The more and more we can be these open spaces, then the more alive we'll feel and the more creativity will come out into the world. All right. Thank you for being here and we'll see you next week.